I'll be back for this thing in about a week or so. We're in Las Vegas, big free lane for Fox Television. Ricky Bobby, today's big winner. A heck of a win for you today, but it seems as you can either win or crash the car trying to win. Well, Dak, here's the deal. I'm the best there is, plain and simple. I mean, I wake up in the morning, I piss excellence, yeah, please, yeah, and nobody can hang with my stuff. Uh, you know, I'm just a... It's a big, hairy American winning machine. If you ain't first, the you're last. The kind of good there, you know, my guy. You know what I'm talking about? That phrase, trademark, not to be up to this Ricky Bobby. They didn't see nothing. Hello, I'm Jensen. What's going on, everybody? Hope you're having a great day. If you're new to the channel, make sure you like and subscribe. So I'm about to go drop the cutlass off at the body shop, but first, we gotta walk my big boy. If you guys didn't know this, my dog, Hemi. Obviously, his name is Hemi because Dodge, you know, Mopar. The boy's about 160 pounds. But anyway, I'm gonna finish taking him for a walk and then we'll uh, take the cutlass up to the body shop, finally get those panels all fixed up so there'll be no more rain, no more moisture getting in there, and. I'll probably have to replace that carpet because there's a bunch of mold and sh And this is my other dog, this Daisy, Spaz, look. She's the craziest dog. Anyway, I'm gonna take both of them for a walk real quick and then uh, we'll go drop the cutlass off. All right, back at the house now. Let's see if the cutlass will start, but first let's pop the hood because I don't know if you guys seen the last video, but we were working on one of the dirt bikes and the cutlass, we thought the cutlass just started leaking but it ended up being a cat under the hood that just pissed. So let's make sure there's no cats under there. <laughs> All right, no cats. <laughs> I think it's been about five days since I started it last, so it should have some juice in there. Nothing? Nothing at all. <laughs> okay. All right, so another jump. I might have to put E85 in the carburetor again to get it started. I hope not. It hasn't been that long, only a couple days, and this shit dead, dead. <sighs> I'm gonna be so happy when I get a new motor for this thing. E85 in the carburetor it is. Actually, I do still have some 91, so that's gonna be a lot better to put in there than E85. Not working. Oh my god. Okay, finally got this fing thing running. So now let's take it over to the body shop and they'll kind of explain better what they got to do. So, because this was a vinyl top originally, but we took the vinyl off, it has this trim that goes all the way along that kind of tucked in the vinyl. So, what they're gonna have to do is take all this trim off and then fill in the pinholes because there's gonna be little holes that obviously hold on the trim. So they're gonna have to weld little spots and then smooth it out and then probably bondo this, make it all smooth, make it sealed. And then most likely order window trim for the back window and then take out this vinyl, take out this trim. And yeah, just make it all smooth, make it all nice. I don't think I'm gonna have them paint it. I'm gonna ask them how much they would want to paint it, but they're kind of expensive, so we'll see. But at least we got it running. I the pain in the ass every single time. I don't know why it kills the battery so tough. Nothing's on, no lights are left on, nothing like that. She over here purring like a kitten now. Got her all warmed up. Chomp, 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 chomp. <laughs> like Mike might be saying, chomp, 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 chomp. Very soon, got something special coming in the mail for this, so stay tuned for that. If you guys didn't know, I was sitting at a red light slapping and the subs rattled the whole mirror off. It fell and shattered. I had to hop out at the red light and get it. We on the road, man. Let's get it. This thing still drives super smooth. Dirty as hell though. Definitely need a wash, but no point of doing that when uh, it's getting dropped off at the body shop. It's gonna be there sitting for a while. I'm wearing this mask because it still has got a lot of mold in it. I don't want to breathe that in. Watch when I put my foot to the floor. Oh, this thing finally got some video. What the fuck? Foot to the floor. Yeah, see, it's bogging. Bogging. Downshift. Come on. Let's get it. Yeah. Pacific Auto Body. That's where I get the cat fixed. All type of shit. So, hopefully they can work some magic with this thing 
from here. Okay, yeah. Just gotta rivet. So, um, they have to weld and fill the little holes and stuff? Yeah, we just have to cut them off, grind them down, and, and get it smooth. So you can't see the imperfections on the rack. And then, with the, the rear window trim, would you guys be able to order that? Or it's do, be, do body work to fix it? It's gonna be a different trim now. So this is for the one with the... The vinyl. vinyl yeah. Would you be able to get yeah, it though? Get it. Yeah. Could you could you guys throw the mirror on too? I got it on got it in the passenger seat. Remember I was telling you it fell off yeah. at the light. And then probably definitely need a replacement mirror. It's been leaking when you know uh when it was raining really hard that past week. It started leaking in there, so the carpet's got some mold in it. So I'll I'll probably have someone replace the carpet. Definitely need it to stop leaking. <laughs> but you guys have to go down to bare metal or what? No, it's right here. Okay. So not not too big of a layer? No. That's good news. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you, bro. Appreciate All right. you. All right. See ya. I'll be back for this thing in about a week or so. She'll be looking a lot better. Let's see what's up with these fools. You guys didn't know. Cisco got a damn Z06. I'll do a video on this soon. Once he gets this body work all fixed, someone hit him already, which sucks. Hello? What's up? What's up, my guy? What's good? What's good? What's good? <laughs> Not speaking on that right now? Next year? <laughs> Sheesh. What are you guys waiting for? Just time or what? Just time. time. It's looking pretty good with the gold and things. Yeah, there's two. Still gotta repaint this, repaint this. Try to put like a clear coat on this. Okay. It's coming out good though. Trick flow heads. Fast. Ooh, pretty lifters. All right. Fine. Some time next year. <laughs> you went to the fuel injector clinic injectors? This is how it started. It started just with the. LS swap, right? Oh, All right, yeah. cool. LS swap. And then this pull over here. <laughs> he brings. Now I have to change the C notch for coils. Yeah, now they're gonna be coil lowers all around. Ah. New setup on the front for the drop. Sheesh. And then now this pool is like, oh yeah, let's just replace uh, the tank. Let's put it <laughs> on the back. And then. Uh. And then. It's funny because he's like, all right, so he's going to be in another sub, right? You just can, whatever, heads. Yeah. And then he's like, all right, let's do a dry sub. <laughs> You're trying to go all out, huh? Well. Shit. A lot bigger project than what you guys thought, huh? Well, I just started with another sub. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> Struggle the engine, put all the shit together, fine. Sheesh. So now these are good injectors too. That's what I got on the cat. You know you're gonna have to do this to the cutlass soon too, huh? Uh, no. <laughs> Hell man, yeah. Man, man. I need a bigger shot. <laughs> this is all you, yeah, pretty obviously, much? Obviously, from the side, everything. Uh, Custom radiator. Damn. Just radiator is like 14, 15 bucks. Big John. Bro said he's like 30 into the Ellis swap. That's crazy. I. I definitely don't want to spend that much on my shit. Got everything. It's going to be a dope ass truck when you're done. You going to paint it and stuff too? Yeah. What color? I have this already painted. Oh, you're going to keep it that pearl? Yeah, I'm going to keep the pearl that's on the back. Yeah, that'll look good. What wheels are you putting on this thing? Uh, I think I'm going to do some, uh, some welds. I'm still designing on welds. Wheel, wheel style, but I'm going to do some welds on this thing. Oh, you're going to do interior too? Interior too, so. Full truck, huh? Everything. Damn. I'm excited to see this thing when it's done. Yeah, this... Hopefully by 2024, it's done. <laughs> 2024. Here, but it's time more than anything. That's a fitting ass name, I'm not gonna lie. Bro's gonna name the truck Gold Digger. <laughs> I like it. Gold, uh, gold. Wow. That thing looks hella good too. Yeah, we're gonna have to do a full review once you get done with this thing. This shit's gonna be a beast. It's nice paint too, it's a nice color. Yeah, you guys can kind of see, see the gold a little bit in the sun right there. I'm excited, I'm excited for you. 
Yeah, because it's a little little bit beefier. That's the 60, though? Yeah, it's 60. Okay. If this ever goes, my homie rebuilds transmissions. He I'll, does. I'll probably do a 60 after that once I blow this shit. Okay. T56. T56. Yeah. Back at the house now. Got the cutlass all dropped off. Just leave it spots on the drive right a will finally tow the drift cat up to overkill performance they're gonna start working on it on i think sunday they're gonna have one of the workers come in on a day off so huge shout out to overkill performance always hooking it up i really appreciate you guys thank you very much so we can get back to killing tires and going crazy in this thing and start going to the drag strip the axles i'm still waiting on g-force axles they messaged me last week talking about the axles still aren't back from coating so i don't know how long that's gonna take probably at least another two weeks or something like that but we'll get it fixed get it running and then we'll be able to drive it probably not be able to go to the drag strip until we get those axles but it's finally gonna be fixed so <laughs> i can start driving i'm fiending i'm fiending and then the carburetor comes for this thing on thursday so we'll be able to fix this thursday be able to mob this around this will be fixed the drift cap will be fixed and the cutlass will be fixed so finally get everything running at the same time because everything's broken <laughs> but that's pretty much the end of this video thank you guys for watching i appreciate it make sure you like subscribe comment share hit the bell thumbs up all that stuff go down to hellocloland.com grab your merch and i'll see you guys in the next video doses